in this video let us see about the stress and elongation of a rotating bar which is a prismatic one which means a constant cross section bar first let us consider a small example for example there is a stone which is tied to a thread and it is rotated by your finger so if you observe the centrifugal force of the stone acting on your uh, finger this will be f is equal to mr omega square where m is the mass of the stone r is this radius and the omega is the angular velocity with which the stone is rotating so this one is a point mass and we are considering a bar which means it is a uniformly distributed mass this is uniformly distributed one so how to find this uh, stress and uh, elongation of this rotating bar so what is stress force by area the centrifugal force acting on this bar is different at different cross sections let us consider a small cross section here and uh, the force acting on this cross section will be f let us say this uh, is at a distance of let us say which is at a distance of x so uh, the force acting on that uh, cross section will be fx which will be m r omega square this mass is the amount of mass present here this total mass mass of this portion and r is the radius center of gravity of this considered mass this is r and next the length of the bar is l and this is l by 2 so we need to find this m r in terms of total mass and total length so first let us consider this mass we know that density is equal to constant so what is density mass by volume volume is area into length this is the total mass and a is cross section and l is the length of the bar which is also equal to this mass mass m divided by area of cross section will be same a into and this length will be this portion length will be l by 2 minus x so here l by 2 minus x so what will be m here m is equal to a a gets cancelled m by l into l by 2 minus x so this is small m and what about r r will be this x distance plus this distance so this is x plus as this is the center of gravity it will be half of this l by 2 minus x so L by two minus x divided by two, so this will be two x plus L by two minus x by two, and it will be x plus L by two by two, so x by two plus L by four. So if we substitute this m and r values in, f x is equal to m r omega square. We get this is m by m by L into L by two minus x, and what is r? r is x by 2 plus l by 4 and this is omega square this omega is angular velocity of this rotating bar about the center of gravity axis of pass axis passing through center of gravity so if we simplify this it will be m by l into lx by 4 plus l square by 8 minus x square by 2 minus lx by 4 into omega square this lx by 4 gets cancelled and the remaining is m by l into l square by 8 minus x square by 2 into omega square so this is the force acting on a cross section at the distance of x so what is the sorry sigma x the stress of uh, the stress on that cross section will be 
centrifugal force divided by cross sectional area. So what is the centrifugal force? M into M by L to L square by 8 minus X square by 2 into omega square is centrifugal force divided by area gives us uh, stress. So what will be the maximum stress? Sigma max when X is equal to 0 we get uh, stress, stress as maximum value. We can also find the distance of X sigma X differentiating stress with respect to X and equating it to 0. We get from this we get X is equal to 0. So by substituting X is equal to 0 in this sigma X we get maximum value of sigma. So which is M by L into L square by 8 into omega square. So this is M L square omega square by 8 A L. We know that this is density. Mass by area into length. Mass by volume is density. So we can write rho L square omega square by 8. This is the maximum value of sigma. Now let us see the elongation of the bar due to this rotation. So let us consider a small elementary portion and let us say this is dx. Length of that portion is dx and delta L is given by sigma L by E. We know this. So here delta L is equal to integral of minus L by 2 by L by 2 because this is not a uniform, uh, there is no uniform stress in this. The stress is varying at every cross section. So we need to integrate the sigma x and we need to find the total elongation of the bar. So here sigma x is this one m by m by al into l square by 8 minus x square by 2 into omega square. So here sigma is m by al into l square by 8 minus x square by 2 into omega square divided by e. So here l is this uh, small elementary length dx. So here it will be dx. Here minus L by 2 to L by 2 means here min, this is minus L by 2, this is L by 2. So minus L by 2 to L by 2 means it will be L, total length L. As this is a, this one is odd function, we can write it as 2 into integral 0 to L by 2 m by AEL into L square by 8 minus X square by 2 into omega square dx. If we integrate it, uh, let us take out the constants 2m omega square divided by AEL. These are the constants and integrate it L square by 8 minus X square by 2 dx. So 2m omega square by AEL, integrating this L square by 8, we get as, we get it as L square into, L square by 8 into x minus, this will be x cubed by 3, x cubed by 3 means x cubed by 6 here, 0 to L by 2. So here 2m omega square by AEL into L square by 8 into L by 2 minus this is L cube divided by 2 to the 4 and uh, 4 2s are 8. 8 into 6, 8 6 of 48. So here 2 m omega square by A E L into L cube by 8 to the 16 minus L cube by 48. If we solve this, we get a m l cube omega square divided by 12 a e l from this this m by a l is density so we can write it as rho l cube omega square divided by 12 e so this is the total deflection due to the rotation so what we have from the sigma max
let me take another color so sigma max is equal to rho l square omega square by 8 and delta l is equal to rho l cube omega square by 12 e this is the case and the rotation is about center of gravity uh, axis passing through center of gravity and there will be another case where the axis of rotation is at the end of the at any one uh, end of the bar so here it will be sigma max is equal to rho l square omega square by 2 and delta l is equal to rho l cube omega square divided by 3e so in order to remember this multiply multiply this case with 4 so that we get here uh, we get this uh, this case so rho l square omega square by 8 is the sigma max of this case if you multiply it with 4 we get rho l square omega square by 2 this is the this case so multiply multiplying it with 4 we get this so you need to remember this formulas uh, you did not derive the all formula just remember this just remember this formula